Canterbury United's English signing relives stint at Manchester City. Canterbury United's English signing relives stint at Manchester City Mario Balotelli was a polarizing figure during his time at Manchester City. Scorned for setting off fireworks in his bathroom, Mario Balotelli was simply a lovable rogue, Canterbury United's English signing George King says. Left back King was in the academy of Premier League big spenders Manchester City from 2010-12. King, now 23, played under Etienne's in his first season at the club, but in the second year was with the reserves and had the chance to train with the superstars of the Sky Blues first team. Canterbury United's English recruit George King marked up against Mario Balotelli on several occasions at Manchester City training. He marked up against enigmatic Italian striker Balotelli on several occasions, who frequently made headlines off the pitch rather than for his goal-scoring exploits. Balotelli infamously let off fireworks in the bathroom of his pound 7500 a month rented mansion in 2011, the night before a derby game against Manchester United, which he scored two goals in. Mario Balotelli arrives for a Manchester City training session during his final season at the club in 2013. King, who arrived in Christchurch in May, said Balotelli was unfairly tainted in the English media and only had positive words to describe him. People make him out to be this nasty, horrible person, but he was an absolute diamond. He was a real pleasure to be around. As a great player, he really is. The reserves trained alongside the first team every couple of weeks at their former Carrington complex. Former Manchester City manager Roberto Mancini often passed on his wisdom to the club's academy members, like George King. King thrived on the monumental challenge of trying to shut down a player of Balotelli's class, who scored 20 goals in 54 appearances from 2010-13 at City. These days, Balotelli plays his trade with French club Nice, who finished third in League One last season. Once you're past oh my god, it's Mario Balotelli, it's no so bad, King said. Then your football brain kicks in and the stardom doesn't wear off because it's still there. It's more of a respect thing after that. Balotelli often rocked up to training in a Bentley Continental GT with a car park at the training facility resembling a catalogue of the world's most luxurious vehicles. Reserves players made their way in via taxis or their own less expensive cars. Everyone thinks it's all Lamborghinis and Ferraris. Obviously, they've got nice cars, but they don't show off and brag as much as people think they do. King was days away from signing a professional deal with City in 2012, but a nasty knee injury during a training match against a traveling Ghanaian side dashed his dream. He didn't hold any bitterness. Realizing even if he had secured a pro contract, there was still a long way to go to break through and push for an opportunity. His time at Manchester City was a special moment in his life and shaped his football career. I was playing against your David Silvas, your James Milners, your Sergio Agueros, your best players in the world. It was absolutely brilliant. Just to be in the presence of the greatest players in the world is just surreal. To get the opportunity to play with them as well, I've been blessed with my football experiences and am still only young. King crossed paths with former city manager Roberto Mancini at training, who guided the side to their first league title in 44 years in 2011-12, while he was in their system. 
the Italian was only too happy to pass on his expertise to academy players. He's a fantastic guy. He taught me loads. Say, you need to improve on this. His coaching opinions were absolutely excellent. He was a really genuine guy and a nice person. The reserves mostly played their matches at Hyde United's Ewan Fields ground in Greater Manchester. Occasionally, they played on Thursday nights at City's 55,000 capacity Etihad Stadium, which was a bonus. <laughs>